All right, kiddos. Edward started his hike at an elevation of 115 feet below sea level. So if this was the sea, he is 115 feet below it. So he starts at minus 115 because he's below. Throughout the hike, he ascends. So remember, ascending, you're going up. So we're adding 3,200 feet. And then he descends. So you're going down negative uh, 676 feet. So how much did his elevation change? Well, from negative 115, and then we add uh, 3,200. And by the way, you're welcome to use a calculator. I think it's like 38. 3085, let's check that out. Check my math. Yeah, 3085. So now he's at an elevation of 3,805. And then between 3,805, you've got to subtract 676 from that. And so now he ends at an elevation of 2,409. That's where he ends. But it wants to know how much his elevation um, changed. So we have to take that where he's at now. We're going to subtract his 115. And so his new finishing elevation is 2,294 feet. Okay. That's how much of a change there was from start to end. All right, question number five. It says that Mr. and Mrs. Jones wanted to plan a fun day with their two children. An adult ticket to the local amusement park is $20. So I'm gonna write adult ticket. Okay, where are they getting these prices? King's Dominion is very expensive. And a child's ticket is 40% less than the adult ticket. So 40% less. Okay. What is the total amount for a family of four to enter? So they have two children, two adult. Okay. So to start, we know that the two adult tickets, 20 plus 20. Adult number one plus adult number two. But now we have to factor how much is 40% less. So the way that I do this is that I, what I do is, there's two ways you can do this actually. 20 times 0 0.40, um, and you can use your calculator and you get that that's $8. That's how much you have to subtract, okay? So 20 minus eight is 12. So each child's ticket is 12. Or you can say, you can save yourself all that hassle, say 20 times, okay, so this, it's gonna be 60% of 20, because 100 minus 40 is 60. You're paying 60% of the value. So you can just write from the get-go, get 12, 20 times 0 0.60. So then I add $12 plus $12. Um, and my total is 20 and 20 is 40. 12 and 12 is 24. Um, so the total that you're going to be paying is $64 in total for those four to enter. That's Price of one ticket at King's Dominion, probably. Josh rents a kayak at a nearby state park. He pays a flat rate. He pays $12.99 for the kayak. So that's just for the kayak. Then he pays $3.75 per hour that he spends in the water, okay? How much did he pay, spend, if he was on the uh, river for four and a half hours? 
So his total time is four and a half, which again, not four, a fifth, four and a half can be simplified to 4.5 hours. This one can be tricky because right off the bat, whether he spends 55 hours or 55 seconds in the water, he has to pay $12.99. Right off the bat, he's got to pay $12.99. Then he pays $3.75 per hour. And the total hours, yeah, is $4.5. So you take twelve ninety nine plus three seventy five times four point five, and three seventy five times four point five. So that's how many hours he was. Is sixteen point eight seven five because it's three seventy five per hour. There's four point five hours, and when you add that to twelve ninety nine, you get twenty nine. 0.865, and don't forget to round that last digit. So that's how much Josh had to pay um, for his kayak adventure.